Hello and welcome to Chart of the Day Cafe for Tuesday, March 7th, 2017. Just want to read our disclaimer quickly. Trading stocks is a high level of risk and viewers should complete their own due diligence on any stock or underlying that they intend to own. 100% of the content of this video and communique is intended for journalistic and educational purposes only. This video and all indicators, strategies, and articles herein should not be construed as investment advice. Not making any recommendations, always for your further homework. Hello everybody, hope you had a nice weekend. It's Sue here from Chart of the Day Cafe. And as we always do, we start our videos off with a look at the Russell Index. We always want to make sure that we're putting new charts forward in a rising market environment. And for that, we use the Russell Index as our proxy. In particular, we're looking at the IWM, which is the ETF that represents the Russell 2000. And we step back to take a look at it on a five-year monthly time frame. So we were noting this candle for the month of November, which pushed us through our light blue shaded area and created that thrust into the area that we're paying attention to here, this little wedge, which we can better see on the weekly, but I always like to get a look at the perspective on the monthly first. So here is the candle for January, February, and so far for March. So we had this initial thrust, got us into this wedge, but then the candle started to get a little more indecisive. So January was a little indecisive. February ended up having a wick at the top and a wick at the bottom. And here we are right here right now for March. So let's pull it into the one year weekly. And we talked about these candles up here being um, dojis several weeks in a row. So we're looking at the one year weekly. Here's our wedge. Um, here's our more minor area of support resistance, this thin orange line. You can see that we had several weekly dojis in a row that showed a little bit of indecision. And then yesterday we opened below that area of support. This area of support is marked by this candle here. It's my anchor candle for the wedge. So I think it's an important one and I always mark the top. I'm going to move it away from the weekly to the three month daily. So this area here represents those dojis, uh, weekly dojis. And yesterday we opened below this area of support, this orange line. Uh, but having said that, price uh, fought back through most of the day and ended up not too far in the red. So on days like today, what I do is just put a little trend line in here and say, okay, let's see how price behaves today. If it's going to recover that lost ground, uh, then it's going to have to move um, out of this little wedge pattern and, and regain that area of support. So we'll see. I'm filming this at about quarter to eight on Tuesday morning and the futures are uh, looking soft to start the day, so we'll see how it goes but we want to note this area being pretty important. And so as a reminder on how we do things at Chart of the Day Cafe, when price is below the 8-day EMA on the Russell, this blue line is our 8-day EMA, and price is currently below that EMA, we do not put any fresh charts forward, but instead, um, just in case price does recover that area today, I just want to flag for you two past Chart of the Day Cafe picks that look interesting, at least to me here. So. UPS is the first one. Let me pull it out to a bigger time frame. UPS was our Chart of the Day Cafe pick back here in um, October 6, 2016. Um, we said you've got to wait for a 3 and 8 cross, so sometimes I, I flag uh, charts a little early, but we did get that 3 and 8 cross. I'm going to put that study on here. That's how we do things anyway. We like to see the pink move over the blue. And we got that pink move over the blue look um, about a week later, and it had a beautiful run. But then pink crossed below the blue. This is where we are interested. This is where we are not interested. But it looks to me, should we have a strong day today? It looks as though it's teeing up nicely right here again. Check the scores on UPS again this morning. They are where we need them for to keep them on our watch list. The current forecasted earnings growth rate on UPS is 6%. And the dividend yield is 3.13%. So just like the way it's behaving, it's come back right into our area of support. And should the market recover here, I would look to UPS as uh, one that may possibly lift. Let me zoom it in a bit so that we can better see. We want to see that lift and that cross. It's early yet, but the way um, we like to do things here is we like to see that lift and the pink cross 
up and over the blue. The second one is a Canadian one. Um, it's open text. I really like this open text chart, I've got to say. It's uh, dual listed, so we're going to look at it on the US side. I'm going to pull it into my plain study. And let's go back. We put open text forward here. It was trading in this wedge pattern. The scores were really beautiful. And it was one of the ones that really uh, performed well for us from the get-go, getting that 3 and 8 cross and having this beautiful run higher. It's consolidating here. You can see that it's trading in a little bit of a wedge. So should the markets start to, uh, the Canadian markets, I should, stay, should say, start to pick up here. I think open text looks interesting. I'm going to zoom it in. Uh, I'm going to put that study on that 3 and 8 that we like to see. So again, here's where we put it forward. We like to see that price move higher and the pink over the blue. It's looking pretty perky here. It's trading in a wedge pattern. I checked the scores on it again this morning. It's got a forecasted earnings growth rate going forward of 18% as of today and a dividend yield of 1.38%. So keep an eye on open text and UPS. As a reminder, I wanted to say if you like these videos, please hit the subscribe button on our homepage and be sure to check out this discussion section. Every uh, day, Monday through Thursday, I will endeavor to post a little note in here after the market close on any past Chart of the Day Cafe pick that looks to be getting a fresh 3 and 8 cross or just some market observations to note. Um, so yesterday, Monday, I put Total, which was a our featured chart last week, moving out of the wedge, it's getting a fresh emerging 3 and 8 cross, might be worth taking a look at. This one has that 5% yield, so I love this area. And I also wanted to say it would be so great, my goal here is to build an engaged, smart, supportive community of chart watchers that share information and just build a strong supportive community. So if there's a chart that you want me to take a look at, um, I will preface it by saying if it's a Canadian chart it needs to be dual listed for me to look at it with my um, charting software. But happy to do that and um, I will either feature it or put a little note back to you on um, scores and my thoughts on the chart. So feel free and hopefully we will build our community up and, and um, get more engagement going. That would be terrific for me. Thanks and have a great day. We'll put our next video out on Thursday.